Hey everyone, I'm Saurabh and today I'm going to take you through how Soundverse works. So as you know, Soundverse is the ultimate AI assistant for content and music creators. Let me show you how it works. So we have three feature pillars. Number one, the Soundverse assistant, the AI magic tools and the studio. Assistant is basically our AI assistant. Our users speak to it and our goal is to deliver the output to the user in form of the concrete music. AI magic tools. So we have multiple AI magic tools such as text to music, stem separation, extend music, and we allow users to use them simply by speaking with the assistant. They can also additionally use the interface to use any of the AI magic tool. Then we have the arrangement studio, and this is where users can place the generated clips. They can edit it, create new sections, layer them with each other. Let me just jump right into how the interface works. So as you can see, here's the login screen. Uh, there are multiple ways to log in, email, uh, Google, and Spotify. I'm already logged in through an email, so let me just click on the login. So let me give a quick interface overview. So on the left side, you can see uh, there is a project navigation bar. So all the projects that have been created, uh, they show up here. Let me hide it. On the middle side, you can see uh, is where the assistant lives. User can speak with the assistant and this is where the audio is created. On the right side, there is something called arrangement view and this is where arrangements are created. Users can simply move the audio from their chat window to the arrangement view simply by clicking on add to arrangement. Once clicked on this, it will jump right over here. I will jump into further details of each and every section. For now, let me hide the arrangement view. Let's start with a new project. So we have a new project. Let me write a prompt. Let me select the duration of 15 seconds. So the audio is ready. Let's listen to the music. I love it. Let me just like it. Now I can simply click on the AI Magic tools, extend audio to extend the audio duration further. So it basically processes the request and it will be extended soon. You can also additionally uh, extend audio by clicking on this and uploading an audio file from your local hard drive. So yeah, here's the extended audio file. So if I was a content creator, I'll just go here, export the clip as a WAV file, and that's it. I'm done. I can actually use that audio on my video and export that content to TikTok, Instagram, Reel, etc. Let's go a bit deeper. How does it work for the music producers? So let's say I write a new prompt. By the way, a quick Easter egg that you can also select the filters, the genre, vibe, instrument and speed to also generate the track if you don't want to write the entire prompt but for the time being i'm going to write the prompt let me set the loop on so a very important thing to remember how the arrangement view works so everything in the cell is technically loopable so if you add an audio file that's not a perfect loop it won't work because it's repeating on a time interval. So let me just hit on this and show you how it works. Let's listen to the audio. I love it. Let me just simply click on this and add to the arrangement. 
So audio has been added to the arrangement and I can click on how many times it should be repeating. So let me select four times and click on play. So as you can hear, that was a perfect loop. So that's how you achieve the perfect loop and use the arrangement view. Now the audio that has been generated, user can also click on the AI magic tool and click on the stem separate to separate the vocals, drums, bass, piano, and all the other melodies. So let me click on this. So as you can see, the stems are finally visible. That's the bass stem. That's the drums. So drums are isolated and you can't hear anything. There is another way to use the stem separation. You can click on the AI magic tool stem separation and upload the audio from your local hard drive and then click on the stem separation and it will simply separate all the stems from the uploaded audio. Some of the other features uh, which are important in the arrangement view. I will quickly talk about it, but let me open one of my favorite projects. It's called My Head Track. So there are multiple ways to open the arrangement view. You can click on the arrangement call to action or you can click on the arrow right here. You can also go full screen, but I like to remain in this view. You can also enable the recording functionality and click on any cell to start recording your voice. All right, let's listen to this project now. Once the arrangement is complete, user can click on the export button. They can export either as the WAV file, MP3 file or the stems. So let me show you some of the actions that user can take in the arrangement view. So these are called the parent cells and these are the child cell. In the parent cell, users can select how many time a specific section needs to be repeated. They can export the section. They can also rename it. Now let's look into the cell settings. So users can take actions such as stem separated. Uh, they can define the tempo and choose if they want to repeat. They can export the clip, mute, copy, paste, and delete. They can also additionally move the clips to different sections. Now let me show you a different section that we call explore. In the explore section, uh, users can see all the public prompts and they can actually listen to them. We also have a section called Featured where algorithm picks up of some of the popular tracks out there. This can be a great source of inspiration. Users can learn what kind of prompts other people are writing. Lastly, we have a section for the light clips. Here, all the audios which have been liked by the user show up. Users can additionally go to their account settings, change their profile picture. They can make sure that their prompts are private. Um, they can enable notifications. They can also manage their plan over here. I hope you really enjoyed the quick walkthrough of how the app works. And I really hope you enjoyed the demo. Thank you so much.